Students bound for university, college, or training schools in British Columbia have some hard choices to make, choosing an institution that best suits their needs. But just over a hundred years ago, the choice was even harder. To get advanced education, you had to get out of BC. Then, in 1908, the province passed the University Act, marking the start of homegrown higher education in the province and of one of Canada's great universities. Both Vancouver and Victoria High Schools began offering some college courses as early as 1899, as affiliates of McGill University in Montreal. But it would be another nine years before the provincial government passed an act establishing a provincial university, the University of British Columbia. After some controversy, the site chosen was Point Grey near Vancouver, and construction on the campus began in 1914. But all work stopped with the outbreak of World War I. For many years, UBC operated out of what were called the Fairview Shacks, a former McGill University College site near the Vancouver General Hospital. In 1919, with many students returning from wartime duty, enrollment in the shack soared to almost 900. Tents, churches, and Sunday school halls were pressed into service as classrooms. In 1922, fed up with the delays, UBC students staged a protest that became known as the Great Trek, a march from Fairview West to the unfinished Point Grey campus. Spurred into action, the government let contracts the next year for the first permanent buildings, and the Point Grey campus finally opened in 1925. However, only seven years later, the Great Depression forced a major reduction in government operating grants. A suggestion to close UBC sparked more student protests. UBC experienced tremendous growth after World War II. Returning soldiers found old army huts used as temporary classrooms. Today, UBC is the largest of British Columbia's universities and one of the most prestigious in Canada, with an enrollment of almost 45,000 students. But while it remains the province's flagship of higher education, students can now choose from six universities, three university colleges, and many other colleges and institutes. A century ago, Bernard Shaw wrote, the future is to the learners. Visionaries in British Columbia knew that too.